Hi, welcome to the next video in my series on Anne Boleyn's artefacts. Now, as well as incorporating their initials H and A in architecture and objects, Henry VIII and Anne Boleyn created their own special love motif, which they used to decorate objects. This motif used honeysuckle and acorns. Honeysuckle, of course, beginning with H for Henry, and acorn beginning with A for Anne. Although floriography, or the language of flowers, was more of a Victorian method of sending secret messages, it's clear from Shakespeare's Hamlet, talking of rosemary for remembrance, that flowers and plants also had meanings in the 16th century. The acorn was a Nordic symbol of life and immortality, and has also been used to represent fertility, which fits in with Anne wanting to provide Henry VIII with heirs and spares. And the honeysuckle traditionally symbolised devoted love, fidelity and affection. So where did the couple use this motif? Well, in my research into Henry VIII's inventory, which was taken at his death in 1547, I found mention of a few artefacts that had survived and that featured the honeysuckle and acorn motif. Here are a few of them. At Hampton Court Palace, and this is a quote, one carpet of gold, silver and silk needlework with roses of red and white and Queen Anne's ciphers with a border above the same of honeysuckles, acorns, H and A of like needlework, fringed at both ends with a deep fringe and at both sides with a narrow fringe of Venice gold, silver and silk and lined with green damask, being in length three yards and in breadth two yards scant. And at Hampton Court, there were also three cushions found with the motif. A cushion of needlework on both sides with silk and gold, the one side with a trail of H and A of Venice gold and Venice silver, and honeysuckles and acorns of silk. And on the other side, three roses, white and red, with Queen Anne's ciphers and word. Gold, silver and silk fringed with a narrow fringe of Venice gold and silver with four buttons with tassels of Venice gold, silver and silk. Then, a cushion of needlework of gold and silk with a trail of honeysuckles and a border round about it with H of gold and knots of silver. And, a cushion of needlework with gilly flowers and other leaves of silk with a border about the same of honeysuckles, strawberry flowers and acorns. Gilly flowers were often used as symbols of marriage or betrothal, and I found that strawberry flowers can represent love and passion, purity, innocence and perfection, and also abundance and fertility. The acorn and honeysuckle motif with the monogram HA also appears on a pair of valances, which are now in the Burrell Collection in the Glasgow Museums. Rebecca Quinton of the Burrell Collection describes them, saying, each is made from light cream silk satin with an arabesque design in black silk velvet applique that incorporates the cipher HA for Henry VIII and Anne Boleyn with their personal motifs of acorns and honeysuckles. I'll give you a link to her article on the valances so that you can read more and see the photos. But here's a mock-up that Tim did of the design on the valances. Anne's acorn also appeared on a clock at Windsor Castle in Henry VIII's inventory. One clock of copper and gilt with a chime to the same at the half hour, having the change of the moon with the king's arms graven upon the doors with three great plummets of copper and gilt and graven with the king's and queen Anne's letters and two small plummets like acorns gilt and the third wreathen all gilt. The motif also appeared in The Ecclesiast, a manuscript that was prepared for Anne by her brother George Boleyn, Lord Rochford, probably in 1532 to celebrate her being created Marquess of Pembroke. Eric Ives notes that the motif is used to illuminate the letter I. Ives wrote, each side of the upright stroke in a space no bigger than a normal postage stamp is a curved stalk in gold with 11 oak leaves seven acorn cups, four full and three empty, and a honeysuckle bloom with a tiny tendril in white and gold. I love that Henry and Anne had this love motif connected to their initials. 
I'm really going to have to find flowers, trees or plants now for a motif for me and Tim, aren't I? Claire and Tim. Cherry blossom and thyme, calendula and tulip, chrysanthemum and tiger lily. Oh, I feel a new tattoo coming on. Hmm. I hope you've enjoyed this talk and I will see you very soon. Take care. Bye-bye.